Hello and welcome back to Adventure of the Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK and today in honour of all of those parents everywhere who have decided not to send their children to reception in September we are doing a 10 you know you're a home educator when video. So I did a Facebook post earlier today Apparently my phone is celebrating. I did a Facebook post earlier today that was a little bit, uh, maybe a bit snarky, some people might have seen. It's, it might, might have thought it might have been a bit snarky, but I was genuinely being honest. Um, I've seen so many posts today um, saying, my child's got into the school I wanted them to get into and everyone's celebrating and that's wonderful. Um, my mother-in-law popped round um, and spoke to me in the garden and she told me that my niece has got into the school that her big sister, my other niece is at, her big sister, and I was like, my husband and I were discussing about how different our life is because we don't see this as something to celebrate because of course it's like, congratulations, you live near the school you like. Um, it's not something that we've ever done. We've just never ever done it. Um, so we don't really understand the celebration. And I said I likened it to one of my favorite home educators bringing out their own curriculum and how exciting that is or finding this you know, this amazing maths book that works for, maths program that works for all of your children when you have multiple children at different ages. It's like how amazing that is and how we're all like, yes, this is something to celebrate, we should have a bottle of wine. Um, I likened it to that and my husband was like, yeah, I suppose. So if you have chosen home education as your first choice for your child in September, congratulations, you got your first choice. How amazing is that? And I'm not being ingenuine to those who decide to send their children to school. Now, if you are still on the fence about home education, some of these will make you laugh and I will do a video later on um, in the year talking about how the fact you can change your mind and you don't have to send them to school and you can have so much fun and they'll be completely normal and everything will be fine uh, but right now let's get into the video so number one this one came from somebody um, on Instagram and it made me really really laugh when you're four-year-old says to you no spells no previously you'd have been quite taken aback by this but now you think wow you can spell <laughs> number two you stay in more during the school holidays as there are school children everywhere this is a really big one for us um we do say we hibernate in the school holidays sorry excuse the noises my dog and cat are having a very heated discussion my cat looks a bit like toothless the dragon right now and my cat my dog is taking her life into her own hands pause i mean yeah we spend a lot of time hibernating we spend a lot of time at home we spend a lot of time deep in the new forest where there are no other people because school time school holiday time is just a nightmare for us we can't go to places like theme parks or f local farms or anything like that and of course you know 2020 was kind of like a very long-term school holiday for us because excuse me because there were just school children everywhere whenever we went places there were school children when these things were open and um when you know like when parks were open and stuff but when the but the schools were shut there were school children there all the time and we were like we can't even go to the park it was just a real a bit of a nightmare from that point of view so I really really do get that number three your three-year-old correctly answers Isaac Newton when you ask your seven-year-old who did who's doing the lesson who discovered gravity number four and this one I can totally get by although naked would also fit PJs are uniform number five this one's definitely for us as well you have more craft supplies than space and toys People on my Instagram are like totally living my life. <laughs> Number six, this is Phil's favorite. When the dead mouse dragged in by the cat becomes a science project. Definitely. Number seven, and this one is owed to all of those parents out there whose children are not going to school in September. You don't ask random, random parents of four year olds in the park which school they hope to get a place at. <laughs> And these ones are my three. These ones are real, real ones for me, which are spending the day in the woods equals a day of home education because everyone is just so interested in nature. Number nine, mama, can I Google something? Is a regularly used statement. We also say, Alexa, what is, how does, 
how many times and so on and Alexa tells us some very interesting facts about very certain things we've had things like Alexa how many times a day does a shark poo and Alexa can people have more than two set of teeth um Alexa what happens if I never slept again uh, that one was me um <laughs> And finally, this one, it feels like a really big deal for me because I remember my primary school library was a corridor between one end of the school and the other. You walked through it and there weren't many shelves, to be honest. I mean, they were full, but there weren't many shelves. And this one is true for me because I'm pretty sure we have more books than the school library that we had when I was a child, which is you have more books than a school library. Maybe not my senior school library, but definitely my primary school library. <laughs> This was Adventure All The Ways. You know you're a home educator when. Please leave your comments below and tell me your, you know you're a home educator when, moments. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, bye.